everybody, this is Eric Worre, and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I'm back from Chicago. I uh, moved my daughter back from her first year in college. And yesterday we talked about this concept of how do you build a, a never-ending prospect list. What's the difference between a poser, an amateur, and a professional? And uh, I promised you today that we would cover the five steps to creating a never-ending list of prospects and people to talk to. And I might get to the five steps today. I probably won't. I'm, I'm of the feeling that we'll probably end up with two of the five steps, and I'll cover the other three tomorrow. But <clears throat> let me talk to you about this act, this idea of an active candidate list. It's so, so different. Remember posers yesterday? They have this mental list of a, of a handful of people. Amateurs make a list, and they start to drain the list immediately, and their anxiety goes up. Professionals make a list. And they go through, start going through the people on the list, but they continue to expand that list over and over and over. Um, this active candidate list is in that third category of living, breathing, ever-expanding list of people to talk to. Um, and I want to teach you how to be able to find a group of people to talk to all the time, every day, at will, without ever having to spend money on leads, without having to do cold market advertising, without having to... Um, talk to strangers every day. And I know that uh, that might offend some of the people, some of my friends online that sell products and services around these lead programs. They're selling leads. They're doing these different things. I don't think it's necessary. And frankly, most of the professionals that I talk to, they, uh, um, I think everybody's probably dabbled a little bit with leads and they've dabbled a little bit with cold market. But none of the professionals, I'm talking about the million dollar plus earners, have really made their fortunes in that arena. What they've made their fortunes in, in the arena of is this active candidate list, this growing candidate list. Um, so I want to teach you how to be able to do that. And I know also that some of you might be afraid to talk to people on the list that you might create. And I'm going to help you get over your fear. But today, that's not about that today. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the first two of five, five steps to creating a never-ending prospect list. In future shows, and I'm talking about the next week um, to 10 days or so, I'm going to teach you how to be able to kind of game plan to come up with a strategy to talk to different people and do it in a way that's comfortable and do it in a way that's effective. Okay? So, um, you with me? Are you ready to go? We're, we're, let's talk about the five steps to never any prospects. Five steps. And I think I'm going to cover the first two. The first one is I'm going to recommend that you do something that's a little bit old school, and that is to get a journal for your list. Uh, I want to ask you not only take it out of your head, but take it off of the legal pads, take it off of the little backs of envelopes, uh, take it even out of your computer, because I know some of you are in love with that, and put it into something that is hard, that is tactile, that is uh, more permanent, and something that you can have with you at all times. Um, so this really will do a great service for you. If you take it out of your phone and take it out of your computer and take it off of all those pads and put it into something that feels good, that feels solid, and is uh, uh, will be with you at all times. Will be really an excellent. That might sound like a small thing, but it's a big thing. Please do that as quickly as possible. Go get a journal. You can get them anywhere. Um, and start putting people into that book. Um, so that's number one, surprisingly. Number two is also a little bit old school, but I'm going to walk you through some of the, some of the nuances of it. And that is to create a, a really thorough, comprehensive list of all your existing contacts. And I mean really comprehensive from all sources, every source that you could possibly think of. Once you have this little journal, and don't wait till you get to the journal. You can start on a legal pad and then transfer it to the journal, but start tonight or start today. Um, all sources, every source you can think of, uh, birthday lists and Christmas card lists and uh, um, you know every holiday list around the world, a list of people you invited to your wedding or invited to a party, um, of every source, every, every place you've ever worked before, every place you've ever gone to school before, every person that's re related to you at all, anybody you've ever done business with, every single contact that's in your phone or phones if it's in a, a household, um, in your computer, everything. Transfer all of it into your journal. Even your social media contacts. Once you've really created a contact and it's not just some make-believe thing, 
transfer it into this journal. And I'm going to talk to you tomorrow uh, at the beginnings of how do you uh, work with social media contacts versus uh, what I would call warmer market contacts, people that you know personally and you spend time with face to face. So all of this, and I want to ask you while you're doing this, don't prejudge. Uh, don't say this person would do it and this person wouldn't. Uh, take the person that you're most afraid to call, put them in the book. Take the most negative person you know, put them in your book. Um, the person that you wouldn't want to join your business no matter what, put them in the book. It's just your exercise is to empty your brain on paper inside this journal. And as, you'll find that as you do it, as you write down a name, you go, oh, that, that reminds me. Because your brain can only hold so many at one time, and it'll release, and you'll be able to think of 10 or 20 more, and then 10 or 20 more, and 10 or 20 more. Um, empty your brain out on paper. And you'll find that this process, once you start, it's work. It's, it really is work. And what, one of the things that worked really, really well for me is um, here in the United States, I pulled out a yellow pages, um, like a, a, a phone directory, and I'm sure they have that in different places, places around the world. And in the beginning, in the index, uh, they talk about all the different professions. They start with A, and accountants, and B, for bookkeepers, and C, for construction, and D, for whatever, uh, E, for electricians, and you start thinking about all these different people that you might know. Who's the tallest person you know? Who's the shortest person that you know? Who's the skinniest person you know? The fattest person that you know? And it's not about whether or not they're going to join the business or if you're even going to talk to them. The exercise is to create your personal database. Your personal database. And to make it a living, breathing, growing thing. Okay? So number one, get the journal. Number two, an exhaustive, comprehensive list of your existing contacts. And don't spend too much time, you know, if you only have a name, put the name down. you get the phone number or email later. If you have name and phone number, don't worry about the email. You'll get that later. Just get them into your book. Does that make sense? All right. Um, tomorrow, here's what I want to talk about tomorrow. I'm going to talk about the third, fourth, and fifth way. How you can, through living your daily life, how you can, through strategy and design, and how you can, through social media, expand this list exponentially and do it in an effective way, okay? So if that holds an interest for you, uh, what I'm going to suggest is that you start, get your journal, start with your existing list, and then tomorrow I'm going to talk, talk to you about living on purpose, social media, and active searching for quality people and ways to do that, okay? So um, question of the day. Are you a person who is looking for a shortcut in order to succeed in network marketing? Are you willing to work? Uh, that's a decision, ladies and gentlemen. So here's my wish for you. My wish is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a better way. Let's go tell the world. Till tomorrow, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.